Shalom. Power by Hashem, y'all was shot by Hashem and Kakodash. Shalom. Set for Kino called America, man. And all the wickedness and abominations that go in, go in here, man. And the Lord is sick and tired of this place. Hey, uh, 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 this is the book of Second Ezra. This is Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. It reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy. And that's what we come out here to do week in and week out. And to warn the people that the prophecies, the coming prophecies, that's coming to this place known as America. Which all hell is about to break loose, man. Death and destruction is coming to this place. It's not going to be like this all the time. Forever. Because all the wickedness that's going on here, man. All the abominable things that's going on in the midst that the Lord is tired of hell of sin, man. He about to judge this place as he did Sodom and Gomorrah, as he did Rome and Egypt, as he did all the kingdoms of old. You got it out. It says, the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, which, self, which prophecy means to say before. When do y'all brothers get that Jeremiah? Yep. That's going on. Which the Lord uh, commands us to uh, return back, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and repent for your sins, your abominations, which is abomination is a wicked, filthy act in the eyes of the Lord. And He about to bring judgment to this place, man. And, and we only do these videos for the elect, the 144,000 and one third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers that's allotted to come back, man. That's, that's, that's the only reason why we do these videos, man. That's the only uh, reason why these, uh, who these videos are for. They ain't for everybody, man. Because we, we understand uh, that everybody ain't gonna come back. It's only for a remnant. The Lord got a remnant. You got it, bro. Jeremiah 28, 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. And we believe ourselves to be the prophets, man. Which, um, and we're reincarnated, which means back in the flesh. It says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many uh, countries, man. And against great kingdoms, which America is a, a great kingdom. And wickedness, man. You got all types of matters of wickedness going on. And, and the Lord said that's why he bought the flood, man. And this time he gonna bring fire. You, you can hold that, uh, my uh, What is that? Uh, Second Peter. Brought the flood. Yeah. To... Like Jeremiah 28, 8. Against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. There's a bunch of evil going on here. There's war going up and, and pestilence, man. Which the most times we're about to unleash on this place, man. That's why it's hot time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to awake out of sleep and, and, and come out of this wicked place, man. The scriptures say, oh, this place is polluted. It, it shall destroy you with the sore destruction. That's why the, the Lord is, the Lord, uh, 
warning us to turn back. To repent from your wicked ways, man. And come back and, 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 uh, and come back to your power and serve him, man. Because we don't got much time, man. Everybody thinking that, hey, this place is going to last forever, and it's not. It's not, man. We're seeing it. We're seeing these prophecies speak and not lie. You got it, huh? Jeremiah 28 and 9. The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord, Yahweh, has truly sent him. And we see in the prophecy of the Newman TV, these pestilence, they are all chaos in the world, different things, man. We see this stuff growing up, man. But it's about to be on the level where people now know, like, damn, they were saying that. They were saying that. Now what's happening? And then the most high God all lied us, man. He ain't gonna be nowhere to be found, man. Who gonna, who gonna, who had it? They gonna have it. Who did it? You ain't. They said they shot women from all. See to see. Because people gonna bug out, man. You gonna be wishing that you had this job. You gonna be wishing that you endure, man. That's why we, we gotta endure. We gotta be patient. We gotta hold fast to this truth. No matter what we're going through, no matter what type of suffering we're going through, because when it's all said and done, at the end of the day, we're gonna be happy as hell that we kept our hope, faith, trust in your how by some outside, and that we didn't lose our mind and Babylon, man. Huh? You know, that the Lord pulled us out of this thing, man. Huh? It's gonna be amazing, bro. That's why we just gotta hold fast. The scripture say this is a light affliction. What you got, bro? This is Amos. Eight, and starting at verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Hey, this word ain't gonna be easy for you to get. All you uh, people that's listening out there and, and, and just bullshitting with the truth, not really believing, not applying these scriptures, but you believe in the Lord, but you ain't applying the scriptures, and the most I'm gonna get rid of you, man. And you're gonna get it with all hell break man. Why? Because you was a hypocrite. You know, you, you desire, uh, you, you, uh, you heard the words of the Lord, but you wouldn't do them, man. What it say? They hear my words, but they, but they, they will not do them, man. And y'all gonna have to uh, feel the wrath of the Lord, which is poured out without mixture, man. Because Esau coming, man, and he, and he getting ready. This devil is getting ready. He's the devil. You got it, bro. It says that. I'm gonna read it from the top. He about again. to show that spirit that hey, the most I'm about to put that that um spirit back on him when he slaughtered the um Native American Indians. <clears throat> and that was the um brutal slaughter, man. And when he had um the, the Negroes and um hardcore bondage, the mm -hmm. Atlantic slave trade, the Lord about to put that spirit back on Esau, man. And he about to get busy. You got it, bro. Verse 11. Behold, Amos 8 and 11, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, mm -hmm. but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Right, the Lord is about to uh, put a famine in the word, uh, in, the, in the land, man. So if you ain't get this word, if you ain't come back to the Lord, if you ain't believe in Yahweh, Shai, and you're going to be bugged out, man. You're going to be bugged out when that time come, man. You ain't going to know what to do. Why? Because you didn't come back to the Lord to seek this wisdom. The scriptures say, uh, um, get wisdom, you can't understand that, right? Mm -hmm. To know what the Lord requires us to do. To do what's pleasing unto you, by Shemal Shai, and not to follow what you think is right. And the scriptures say, there's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. We got death coming this way at an all-time high, man. Because of the wicked things that's going on in the world right now, man. And the Lord is about to put Israel back on top. You got it, bro. That scripture states, that scripture says that America is the valley of the shadow of death. Right. It says, verse 12. Hey, it's death everywhere you walk, man. Hey, we breathing in death, man. Uh, what's that? Uh, Kim Trail. Kim Trails. Hey, the fumes from the uh, cars, everything, which he saw could have made it environment friendly. Mm. But he just the devil, man. He wanna he wanna kill us all. Right. Everything we eat, you know, and just different things that we see on our day-to-day -day pollutes pollutes our spirit. 
This this place is hey that like that shit that's going on right now. Uh uh a sodomite um parade, man. It's vexing, bro. That's different. Right. <laughs> but we we have to witness that shit, seeing all types of different fucking things walk past us. You don't even know what the hell it is. Hey, like you gotta get the fuck out of here, man. You gotta go. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east. Right, you're going to bug the hell out. Why? Because you didn't come back to the Lord and do what was commanded. You didn't seek him, man. Scripture says, seek him, you Lord, go yeah, you're while fine. he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. We're in the midst of seeking the Lord right now, man. We're in the midst of doing what the Lord commanded us to do and turn it back. Hey, um, so, so that we can have hopes of being saved with all hell break loose, man. Uh, I have a hopes when all hell break loose that the Lord put in our spirit what to do, man, and to guide us. See, a lot of people ain't gonna have no guidance, man. They don't have nothing. <laughs> and they don't have to feel the boot of a Gurger troop, man, or, or, the, or the butt of a, a M16 or whatever might you have it, that that Gurger troop is gonna have to, to, to torture you, man. And the Lord is gonna bring that judgment, man. He's gonna he's gonna set it up where you're gonna fall right into their hands, man. That's why we gotta be patient and wait upon the Lord and trust to Him, cause He got a hey, He say He got a commands. Go on. Yeah. Okay. It says, and, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Are Lord Yahweh. And shall not find it. And shall not find it. And that's going to be the most terrifying thing ever, man. When all hell break loose. And you don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to call on. You ain't going to have no, no, no safety, man. You ain't going to have nothing when all hell break loose. Why? Because you ain't turn back to the Lord and do what was commanded, man. And, and do the simple things that the Lord commanded us to do. What you say, his commandments are not grievous, man. He asks us to do simple things, man. Hey, turn back to him. Stop worshiping idols and false gods. Stop bullshitting, man. He giving us a chance at, at, at salvation. He, he giving it, and he redeeming us back as his people, man. Why would you not want to come back, man? You got it, Michael. Okay, you want that pre sale I, I, I want to read, read it and read this in um, NLT translation. Okay. I read it. This is Amos 8 and verse 11 and 12 again in the NLT. It says, the time is surely coming, says the sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread or, or water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, verse 12. And that's going to be terrifying within itself, man. All hell breaking loose and you not knowing what to do. And you having the names to call on, but you ain't been doing what the Lord commanded you to do, so it's going to dip you. That shit going to be scary as hell. That's why we try to the best of our abilities to do what the Lord commanded us to do, man. And truth and sincerity. Because the Lord looking at the inward man, the sincere man. Not a bullshitter. Not a con artist. But you can't con the Lord. Verse 12. People will stagger from sea to sea and wander from border to border. Right, people gonna be bugging out, man. Like, damn, man, I knew, I know he told me to call on. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they gonna be bugging out, bro. Damn, what them guys that that was on the corner, man, they saying that these things is gonna happen, man. Maybe if I sneak out there, man, and, and they might be out there. Nah, bro. You gonna be bugging out, man. And we in the, the, the time of the period of grace, Right now, okay, okay. and the Lord always dealt with the period of grace, man. You can hold that on that Isaiah 55 and 6. Yeah. It says, finishing off Amos 8 and 12, it says, searching. So I'll read again. It says, um, and, they shall, and they will stagger from sea to sea and wander from border to border, searching for the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, but they will not find it. Right. And if you got it, and you been wicked as hell, the Lord gonna take that shit away. You ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna know what to do. He gonna take it away, cast you back into the world, and now you just gonna be misobeyed, man. Or whatever type of calamity that the Lord is gonna give you over to. 
he say he create peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. So the Lord is about to bring great judgment upon this place called America. And, 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 and if we ain't right, and we got we got feel of that, man. That's why we gotta stay on that straight path, man. That's why we gotta uh, be patient. We in the we in the, uh, the time that the, uh, we we're in the test of patience right now. This is a test of, of patience going on that the Lord is testing our patience. Which the scriptures say, uh, patience possess ye your souls, man. It's all about being patient. It's all about seeing if you're gonna endure. The scriptures say, he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved, man. We got to endure this thing, man. We got to fight this good fight. No matter what oh, we going through in this truth, man. We got to always... Yeah. Hey, the Lord's going to bring all kinds of tests upon, upon you. It's coming to take trouble. So whatever we bring, all you got to just hey, take, it, take it as uh, the Lord test or take, take it as... Um, you know, you got you're gonna go through these things in the last days. You know, the Lord is gonna try you in different ways, whatever the case may be. All of us gonna have different lots that we're going through. So you gotta take it cheerfully and just still praise your high bash now shine that time, you know. Right, and we and we being tested right now. So we're being tested right now, and the Lord is building us up, getting us ready for that hour of temptation. So when we do get tested. Um, in that time, with the MOTV or whatever might you have it, we're going to keep our faith in your how about Shema Shower. Remember, oh yeah, when I was before all hell broke loose, he was delivering me. So now, he's still playing. I know what you think, you know? You're going to lose our job, you're going to lose family. That's going to be the lowest state you're going to be put in. But you got to take all that trip because you know that's got to happen, man. You need to prophesy that. Right, and men of old, um, lost women, families, you know, always pops to my mind is Job, which lost his woman, his, his kids, he lost his whole family, you know, they got plagued in the flesh, they lose that faith though, right, and that's a beautiful example for us brothers to, um, to, to have, man, to not lose the faith no matter what. Because we are going to be tempted, man. And this flesh is going to be um, tried. But, it, but the Lord said that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know? I was about to say, that's why people say, we're going to bring a four time for our learning. So, you know, all these things are bring a four time. What happened to Job? Hey, if he went through it, he still prayed God by shot. And the Lord called him all the way through it. You know? <laughs> we're hoping for that same, that same thing in the time to come. If I can say, uh, look with the Lord. Bless Job went too, but endure. He got he got more than what he had before, man. He got double everything that he lost. So if we just trust in the Lord, which He creates everything, bro. He give you everything that you got. He say, um, He bring He He bring down to the ground and, and lift him up. I, the Lord, do all these things. So we got to trust in how about Shem Shai and his program. Whatever he get rid of out of your life, it was never meant for you, man. You don't know what type of um, spirits everybody is, man. Everything just being tested for us that we got to endure in this truth, man, in this ministry, and trust in the Lord and keep moving forward, man. You know, we can't we can't fall into this mystery like these people are about to, and they're gonna be destroyed, man. But they're gonna they're gonna die a horrible death. That's why we gotta gird up our boys down. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, you better seek him now. Because time is running out. Like the brother was saying, grace, this grace period is running out for Jacob. So you want to get it now. That's why the scripture tell you in um, Rock uh, 5 and 7 to make no Terry to turn back to the Lord. It's time now, not tomorrow. Do it now. You know? Because the same, the same that off from day to day. That's why you got to seek it now, man. And we doing what we supposed to do. You know, like what you said earlier, this is for the elect. 
but hey, we open uh, that, that gate, take heed to the Lord, and turn back before the destruction. We are the elect, and we hope that we elect to turn back, because it's up to Thursday. The hell went too far. Met him outside. Shalak Rayum on to you two thirds. Oh, for sure. You know, we hoping we in a part of the two thirds. That's right. That's why we gotta constantly examine ourselves and be on our shit, bro. Because this world will try and suck us in, bro. Mm -hmm. If we ain't leaning into the spirit. Mm -hmm. That's why the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. That's why we gotta stay prayed up. Mm -hmm. In the names of the Hawashima Shot. That's why when certain demons and different things mess with us, we gotta rebuke it in the name of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. That's why when we go off, we gotta repent in the name of Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. This thing's serious, and you gotta attack it right then and there. Don't just chill and, and go about your day like you didn't just fuck up. We gotta repent. We gotta attack the problem when it occurred. We gotta rebuke these demons you got when they occur. Real. Man. Yeah, man. Isaiah 55:7 reads, "Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh Shah, and He will have mercy upon him." Back in Isaiah 55 and 6. It reads, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, while he may be found. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. We live in a gross darkness, man. And it's good to say that uh, if, if the Lord don't come back now, shall no flesh be saved. That's why we're supposed to be getting this truth right now, seeking the Lord. Because if not, bro, we'd be consumed with this wickedness, man. And hey, 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 brother should just be desiring of the most high take this place out, man, because this is the most wickedest place that's ever been on the face of the earth. And the Lord is going to take it out, man. That's why we got to stay strong and keep believing, man, and trusting in the Lord and doing what we're doing, man, which is seeking him, man. And soon he's going to reveal himself, man. It's good to say that the Lord didn't leave the remnant that we would have been that solemn we would have been before. Lord does have a remedy for us, so like the brother just said, we have to bear, you know, and keep fighting. Because eventually, Yahweh Shah is going to be dead just like you know, in due time. You know, in due time. That's the whole thing about it. Like, before you get laid, then you got to go home. That's why we got to be calling on Yahweh Shah. You're crying out, because if you're not crying out, you ain't calling on Yahweh Shah. Thinking like the brother said, or just praying to the Lord, or going to the Lord, then obviously you really want to stay here, you know, because hey, us crying out and, and calling on our Father, just like we did in the ancient times, man, when Israel was crying out and they was in them various captivities, and the Lord heard them cries. What did He do? He came and He avenged them. So we constantly got to be crying out in the spirit, man. You know, like the brother just said, hey, bitch, man, we, man, we, we constantly got to be in that spirit, and, and, and it's a balance to it, you know, because you can't, you know, be over righteous. But at the same time, man, we gotta we gotta really and the scriptures say these are they that hated their lives unto death. You know, we gotta be ready and always in a, in a state of mind of a crime to the Lord to come and get us out of this this wicked ass people. Uh, Isaiah 5 and 6. Call ye upon him while he is near. And call ye upon him while he is near, man. Seeking out the true names of the heavenly father and his only begotten son, and believing in those names and calling on him, man. And repenting in those names and condemning his place. In those names, man. Because the Lord is about to make his move upon this place, man. He, he hear our prayers, bro. You know, and you true and sincere, brothers, man. And keep praying, man. Keep praying and keep believing because the Lord is with us. And he hear our prayers. And he's he's gonna he's gonna be with us, he's gonna protect us. Why? Because we're doing what he commanded us to do, man. We understand that the Lord don't lie. Look at the power that the most high has given us, man. The, the, the power of faith. We understand by what we are doing that the Lord got to do what he, what he say he going to do. So, brothers, we got to stay strong, man. We got to stay strong and keep believing, bro, because the Lord don't lie. And he going to come through what he say he going to do for us, man. As long as we stay diligent. 
Isaiah 55 and 7, let the wicked forsake their way, his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, man. And turn from your wicked ways and come back to the Lord and seek his face, man. Seek, seek out what's pleasing unto him, man. Do what's pleasing unto him. You know, and, and the scriptures say, kiss the son, at least he be angry. We know what type of judgment that the Most High is, is capable of, man. They call him Alishaja. Um, he demon like power. The same power who flooded the whole earth and killed everybody except for eight people. Hold that. And Dr. Rob can get that. I got both of them. You got it, bro. Because we, we should be in ter a terrible fear, bro. That's what moves us to um, live how we live, man. And, and, and stay strong, no matter what situation we're going through. We got to always exhort back to the scriptures, bro. Because one wrong, one, uh, wrong move can be our last. That's why we spiritual men, man. You got to drop. Con, this is um, Second Peter's 2 and 5. And spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Right. The Lord flooded the whole earth and killed everybody except for eight people for all the wickedness that go on, that, that went on, man. The scripture says nothing new under the sun. What happened in the past, gonna happen in the future, man. And the Lord say, he is the Lord, he changed not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Mm -hmm. The Lord don't change, bro. Every time it was wickedness in the land and the Mosai didn't approve of that shit, he bought his prophets out like the brother got earlier and they prophesied against the wickedness and warned them of the coming of Yahweh's side that he was going to destroy this place and then the Lord bought what? Judgment, man. Right. It's always been this way. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to be a fool not to come back. That's why we go over these different accounts like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, the prophets are actually out here. The Lord said, what? The prophets for last. Mm -hmm. it's, it's letting us know that something is about to happen, man. Mm -hmm. Something a, a terrifying is about to happen, bro. And if you scripture speak of this, like a time like never before, we can't even imagine what's about to go down out here, bro. That's why the Lord is commanding us to turn back now, because it's, hey, man, all these different cyber robots and you know, they putting real skins on this shit, making it look like real people. And all, bro, this, it's about to get very weird as hell out here, man. And if we ain't got to protect the hedge of your how about shit out shot, that song's uh, 91, mm -hmm. like, protecting us, it's going to be a wrap. I don't know what they call it, bizarre world. <coughs> yeah, kind of. Some bizarre ass shit, bro. This second Peter two and six, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. You know how Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed, man, for all the wickedness that was going on there. Sodomites tried to sodomize the angels, bro, and the Most High brought judgment upon that place, man. There's nothing new under the sun. What happened in the past? What happened in the future, man? And what's going on in, in, in um, Babylon? Which Babylon means confusion. You got sodomites everywhere, man. You got all types of abominations. Trans. Yeah, kind of transformers. All types of wicked, abominable things that the Lord hates, man. And the Lord do hate, man. He yep. he, he hates. He right. hates wickedness, man. Uh, he he says six things do if the Lord hate. Yea, seven are abomination on him, man. So the Lord hates, bro. He hates wickedness, man. Right. He's angry with the wicked every day. Mm -hmm. Right. And we hate what the Lord hates. Right. Because mm -hmm. we, because we, um, uh, like, like mine. Mm -hmm. Right. And King David, he's afraid that prayer. He said, um, "Don't I hate them that hate thee?" Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I hate the ones with a purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hate the ones that don't hate me. Right. People that ain't doing according to the will of the Lord, man. But, hey, we ain't, we ain't um, holding hands with your ass, yo. Because we understand that the hey, um, will of the Lord, man, the, the type of judgment he about to bring upon this place. He said, can um, two walk together except they be agreed? Yep. 
I got a um. I got, I got, I got. Want me to carry on with that? Yeah, carry on. Cause this is Second Peter's two and verse seven, and delivered just like vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And that's how we know this thing is spiritual, man. Cause we vexed, man. We vexed from our day to day, man. And every day we're ve we're seeing something vexed. We're going through some vexation, and we and we in hell, bro. That's why this is literally hell. Mm -hmm. that, that's why we understand why, why, um, the, the, about the suffering. What's the scripture say? Uh, by suffering, uh, you're made whole. Mm -hmm. So we understand we got to go through the suffering, man. That's uh, the purification. We're being purified, man. Yep. Through our iniquities, through our transgressions, man. Through our sins, man. For all the wickedness that, that we did in our uh, uh, past lives and the wickedness that we did in this life, man. We're hoping that the Lord forgives us, man. So we got to go through the, what he said, this is a light affliction at that. So the hell what we go through and lose and, you know, um, the, the shit that we face, because it ain't, it ain't nothing, bro. We ain't going through shit, man. And, and let the Lord say it. And he the Lord, he know. He know what, what, what we can be going through. He said, y'all going through a light affliction, endure it, bear it. Whatever I put you through, what are you saying? Uh, any man uh, pick, um, not pick his cross up? Yeah. And deny himself? Right. Right. You got to pick that cross up and follow the, uh, uh, follow the Lord, man. Because if not, you ain't going to be a, uh, you can't be a follower of your how about shit on the man. Mm-hmm. So we gotta embrace what we go through. What we say we believe for when when we go through this shit, that's the test. Okay, show me. I'll call upon me. I got you. Then what? Is we gonna keep believing? And, and we serving the Lord, but you know how this world will have you think serving the Lord, it's gonna be prosperity. You everything's gonna be good. Anymore. And, and brother was in um, Sarat chapter 2 earlier. Uh, the scripture said, When thou comes to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we're going to be tempted above all things. Right? Some of us going to be put to death. Like, hey, you ready to die for the truth? That's why, people, you got to really know what you're involved in when you come to serve the Lord. It said, Please, the how to bruise his son. Mm -hmm. You got it, huh? It's Second Peter's two and eight, for the righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. With their unlawful deeds, we fucking vex, man. No one's saying like that, but the scripture say, uh, "Be angry and sin not." Mm -hmm. We still we vex ourselves, but we still gotta uh, be be patient. Mm -hmm. Wait here upon the Lord to the day that He rises up to the break, and we can't take matters into our own hands, bro. Mm -hmm. Because we, we can't, we can't uh, bring judgment fault on the ministry, man, mm -hmm. with our acting irrational. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, hey, and it's tough, bro. It's tough. But we just got to take the load. That's why it's meant for the elect. Right. The only elect don't obey. Right. Because uh, it's a such thing. We believe in the scriptures, so the scriptures say shoot the oppression. Make them a wise man, man. Mm -hmm. You know, fool going to trust a bit. Trust in his own heart, gonna take matters in his own hand because it's some shit he don't like. Right. Mm -hmm. if, if we pissed off matters out of war, he been on the. You know how much. <laughs> he been, he gonna bring the judgment that coming from y'all about Shamal Shai is worth waiting for. Him. Right. Mm -hmm. And and, and a lot of times when he was going through something, he just got out the mess, bro. Yeah, yeah, good. And you know how much, how much, um, you know how much, um, um patience. You know, humbleness that take you in a fiery situation and you just got to take the law and exit yourself out of the situation. When the flesh want to get carnal, the flesh want to do all types of matter of things, the flesh want to yoke your ass, suck, choke you out, slap mm -hmm. your ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, but we got to, we got to, we spiritual men, man. Right. Harmless is dogs, right? Mm -hmm. We seek. Right. Control over your spirit. Right. That's yeah, that, yeah, that's that's a, uh, 
That's being patient, bro. And having that, that rule over your spirit that comes by serving your how about my son, my prayer, asking for that. Mm -hmm. Shit don't happen overnight, but the Lord puts you through a series of tests and then eventually, you, you know, if you, if you uh, pray in it. Hey, hey, hey. Most I give you that, that patience, right? mm -hmm. you know how to deal with women, people at your job, your family, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. That's right? hey, hey, hey. enduring in the midst of the world. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the last one. Right. Nah. Got to cry before you walk. This ain't no fucking instant, instant open. Mm -hmm. nah, nah. One minute rice. That's what the world wants. They want that instant uh Experience. Right, instant gratification. Yeah, that's yeah. This second Peter two and nine, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Yeah, con. So, um, as the scriptures say, the Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation, out of tribulation. Hey, that's why we have the accounts. And He said, Re reserve the unjust until the day of judgment, which He did for the flood. Like he going to do for the second flood. Hey, let's say, uh, uh, say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So it don't matter what, what niggas coming at us with, what women coming at us with. Or slander. Right. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon the second chapter. Yeah. Jake, mm -hmm. Jake, Jake, Jake see that, that the fact that uh, he out a good spirit about y'all about shooting out a shot, we have taken on his life. So it, it, has, it has allowed us to change our ways and we don't do the same thing that they do right. no more. And in fact, they're still stuck in that position. Guess what? That makes them like with a, with a crowd in the budget mentality. Because it's just like, how you think you just going to come up out of this and not eat pork no more, not celebrate our day no more, not hang around us and sell weed. Until now you just think you're better than us. Right. Well, really, they don't understand through the spirit age and how about you all shot that gave us a call. It's going to say, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you out of the world. He said, therefore, the world hated me. You know? Because what the Lord did is totally spiritual. Yeah, because that was Brother Sam. Mm -hmm. And the Lord gonna destroy them for that. Because that's wicked as hell. Niggas is wicked. And, and just so they can say, ah, yeah, you ain't poor, you ain't no poor. Yeah, yeah. Laugh at your head. Niggas ain't shit. That shit, it didn't happen because I've seen it. But, yeah, they, they put that shit up. What shit happened to me? You know, just because I changed my ways, man. That's why, hey, that's why the Lord said, pray not for this people, man. I told Jeremiah that. <laughs> you got it, bro. This was the Solomon too. I'm going to go straight to the point. I'm going to start at 16. It said, we esteem him as counterfeits. He abstained him from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make of his boast that Yahweh is his father. Let us see if his ways be true. Because that's what majority of people are doing. We boasting that we know the most high. So they're going to try our ways. It says... Let us, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. For if the just man be the son of the heavenly father, he will help him and deliver from the hand of his enemies. That's what we're speaking about. That's the same thing the servant is not greater than his Lord. You know what we're gonna see? Hey, you, hey, get yourself off that cross. Save yourself, you know? If if the if your how will be your your um your, your father, you know? And a lot of people don't even believe that the Lord is with us, right? A lot of people think that. You know, a lot of people look at us like we don't shit. Like we're wasting our time. Right. A lot of people look at us like 
they like left us. Mm -hmm. A lot of people by the sea, man, that we 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 dear to the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, Lord willing that we endure to the end, hopefully. You know, because we're doing the things which the Lord commanded us to do. Right? right. And we love doing it, man. We make it our business to do it. Right. Go out our way. First before anything. Man. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we trust in the Lord. We know what his words are faithful and true. And he ain't asking us to do nothing crazy. He's telling us to serve him, bro. Right. You go, you go to your fucking job and do what they, what they tell you to do. Quick. Right. Quick. Because you see the reward. Mm -hmm. You see the, mm -hmm. the, the Federal Reserve notes. Mm -hmm. But how much more for the Lord that created everything before your eyes. That got the power mm -hmm. of life and death in his hands. Mm -hmm. That can take that job away from you. Right. It's wisdom of Solomon 2 and 19. Let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. And that's going to be Esau's mind frame. And, and, uh, towards the elect. Yeah, towards the elect. And, and when he do, because he's going to capture some of us, bro. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to stand bold in your house by the outside as the men of old did. Right? Biblical prophecy. Right. You got it. Word of my patience. Mm -hmm. Because you endured. This is um wisdom of Solomon two and nineteen that we may know his meat is improve his patience. Let us condemn him with a shameful death. For by his own sayings, he shall be respected. See, if I can say too, the Bible says in Proverbs, uh, before honor is humility. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why what is pushed out of time is pushed out of power. Yahweh Shemayim shout with y'all, pastor push out of time. We might. I want to say too, a lot of people don't realize that they might be paper shit. They don't believe the Lord with us, Lord, with us, but they also don't believe that they don't pay for us. That's right. And what's even more scary, not only were you in that crowd, but you was already in the beginning. I already set up because, and what the scripture said before they did any good or evil, according to predestination, it was set up. The evil with Jacob and Esau, Romans 9, that would make it even more scary. It ain't before you even did any evil or good, those who set up to get delivered was already set up. Those who meant to get destroyed were meant to get destroyed. That's. That's why we gotta keep pushing. That, mm -hmm. That's why that kills pride. It, it eliminates a lot of shit, bro. Like, you got to keep pushing, bro. Mm -hmm. You got it. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. This was. Yeah, it can. That's what makes it. We out here so adamant. Mm -hmm. We know that the Lord ain't fucking around, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can feel the vibration of the Lord making thunder when it's raining, bro. All right. That shit be strong as a man. That shit, man. Like, it's, like it's, like it's like Jake. It's like Jake. It's like Jake. We just waking up. Hey, what you doing? Let's go out there and got dang, just cuss people out. Let's just go out there and open up the Bible. Right. Oh, man. Right. You feel your how about soon y'all will shout. Persuade me. To come out of here. And prophesy your how about soon y'all will shout. Because if we don't, what did Apostle Paul say? It's woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Because if we don't come out here. And do what the Lord say. Hey, the Lord gonna fuck us up, man. And we right. told her to believe it. Because we know that the Lord is in control of judgment. See, right. The scriptures say that Yahweh Bashir Yahweh Shah 
is known for the judgment which he executes. Right. And the Lord executes judgment on earth, whether it be a righteous judgment or or um 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 weak or, 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 or not a wicked but um bad judgment upon right. the person. Man. Right. He pays you back. That's right. That's right. This is just two more. This is wisdom of Solomon two and um. 21, they say, such things they did imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness have blinded them. As for the mysteries of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, they knew them not. This is wisdom of Solomon 22, 2 and 22. As for the mysteries of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, they knew them not, neither hope they for the wages of righteousness. Because if they knew Yahweh by Shemiah was about to destroy this place by thermonuclear fire, which Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, all these places is about to shoot nuclear missiles on it, the swords of Babylon, man. If people really just do this, bro, they'll be, hey, they they be trying to get their act right. 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 Beautiful. It says, it says, nor discern a reward from the blameless soul, but you got it. This is on Wisdom of Solomon 5, because this is the balance, you know, Towards their scripture on the, in wisdom of Solomon 2 that the brother just brought out. Call that reward. The reward that's going to come with that, you know, once we, hey, if we love the Lord's elect and we endure through that, right. like the scripture say, what shall separate us from the love of our Shiach? Right. Hey, the sword, perils, famine, you right. know, a, a persecution. If I can say real quick, the brother um, Barack Gabar said, the reward that's going to come to the righteous when it's a Mr. Famine and you'll be able to eat. Just that very thing. The fact that you'll be able to eat while people starving is a reward. You got to think about it. What's been going up? Chicken plants been blowing up. The bird flew. We were speaking about. Really, they the, just speaking that through the spirit. They could detect the food supply. So then, you already know what what's the N R B R for to be able to be a part of society. You got to take that that digital all. So the fact that we're going to be outcasted and knowing that everything is going to be polluted, the Lord's still going to find a way for us to eat and drink. That's a reward. So this is really worth fighting for. You got to go. When our hell break loose, that's when we really gonna rejoice. Right. That's when our desire is gonna get closer. <laughs> and have abundance. That's when the road's gonna flip. That's why, like right now, we're suffering because it's so called peace. Where there ain't no peace. But these people, that's why the scripture say, uh, "Envy not sinners, man." Because the scripture say, "Though sinner do evil a thousand times, yet shall it be known that it shall go well with the righteous." You got it though, bro. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5, starting at verse 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness 
but for the face of such as have afflicted him. And that's what we're doing, bro. We're standing in great boldness. In the, in the face of our oppressors, giving them uh, and giving them their judgment. And hey, through the spirit of power, y'all by Shalom Shah. What's about to happen to this place, man? You know, which is a, a beautiful thing, because going back, um, going to Atlanta slave trade, we would have never been able to do this, man. They just going back in the 50s. Lynch you. What is this segregation going on, right? It says, I didn't want to burn our house down. Yeah. It says, and made no. And that's just, and you know what? Just to build on that, because as the scriptures say, um, in Acts 5, it says, if the, uh, if the, if the Most High build a, build a house, you know, surely the Habashi Yahweh shall build their house and shall come to life. Right. If this work be be of not the most high, it shall surely come tonight. I know what you think. Well, you think my song when it said, "Let the Lord build a house to labor's labor in vain." That's right. Yeah, but I bit, I meant that. I meant what you. Called. And Acts five, you got it, bro. You got it, bro. Salah. The fact that we're out here, we're able to come out here in the spirit and do this without. And the scripture says, "For two more death of my name, there I am in the midst." Because at the end of the day, and we and we got angels, if we believe that we got angels covering us, covering us in these different towns, you know. What, what a true man are that's preaching and y'all watching y'all the shot is it, 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 protecting us for him to, to come out here to preach his word, man. You and, know? And the angels are. Uh, yeah, because look, look what happened with the apostle Rimba. You know, brothers, uh, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, when the, somebody starts shooting at them. Yeah, no bullet hit no brother. And, and the spirit, like the thing was going into it. Was, and really, because everything we used to say, man, go on to the Lord. It was like when they first got out there. And the Lord, and the Lord just put on the spirit on the brothers, the anointing of the And that's the spirit. And look how they ain't get scared. Right. We got to shut Kim down now. Mm -hmm. we, we leave it. <laughs> right. They kept Kim, right? That's that boldness. <laughs> right. It says, and made no account of his labors. You see, because right now, right now, um, we're out here, we're standing out here, man, and, and, and you, don't, you don't see Jay inquiring, man. They ain't making no uh, account of these, these laborers, works that we're doing, because we're out here laboring for our people, but ultimately, like the brother been saying, the elite, the remnant. It ain't know? for the Israelite masses. And that's right. They're acquiring the, uh, that shit there. Right. Uh, uh, right. A stumbling block. Right. It says, verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, <laughs> And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right, a lot of people are gonna be amazed that our, our, that we're getting delivered. The hell, nah, he, nah, he can be right. Man. I remember when he was doing this. I remember when he did that. Mm -hmm. They out there cursing people out. How the hell are they men of the Lord? And that's what people are gonna be saying, man. That's what people are gonna be saying, man. I don't know how to make this look weird, man. Right? That's why we gotta get the fuck out of here. Man. Yeah. And uh, women did too. They got, they got um, filthy spirits on you know? They got perverse spirits on them. And you got to change, man. You can't continue that thing you're going to make it to the kingdom. Yeah. Scripture said unrighteousness should not make it to the kingdom of the most high. That's why you got to be born again. Because a person like that can't repent. They got to change, though. You can't still be in the truth doing that shit. That shit off. Just ain't got faith. Yeah, but when that time actually comes, they're gonna be like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. You know? Why, Damn. Why? Why? 
Get, get, get on there, you know, but they ain't. It says, verse 3, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he mm -hmm. whom we had sometimes in derision. He saw the, 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 he we fools of telling his life madness. Right. And his end to be without honor. That's how people look at us. Y'all ain't doing that with y'all life. Y'all ain't going to college. Y'all ain't. <laughs> like, you know, y'all ain't. You ain't got no. You ain't making six figures. Right. And you think about it, uh, when you go into the person who's going to say, uh, astonished, uh, you can get a astonished heart and uh, madness. Blindness. Stupidification. Yeah, they really think we're crazy. Stupid. <laughs> At the end of the day, for what we're doing. Right. You know? Cool, but. Mm -hmm. Right. To say, to say that, that's the key word. Mm -hmm. The foolishness of preaching. Yes, it's foolish. It looks dumb as hell. But this was going to get you delivered. But it's going to get us delivered. That's mm -hmm. right. It's saying, um, by the wisdom of the Lord, they knew that. Mm hmm. Cause they foolish. Right. They deceive. Right. Deception. They think the, 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 um, having the Lord with this nigga wearing a three, three, three piece suit. suit. Yep. With a rollie on his wrist. Right. And having a, a, a big ass house in. Right. Paying tides to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll make it deceiving the hell out your ass. Get the fuck. Get that blessed. Mm -hmm. That highly favored. That's what they said on the word. That hour. Right. But how, how John the Baptist came. That's the spirit. Right, John. He came with the um, camel, camel fur, eating wild locusts and honey, bro. And he was in the wilderness preaching. Right. You know, his beard had to be straggly. They really looked at, they really looked at. Like he would throw it off. They looked at him like he would throw it off. But like the brother said, they're more in Iowa. They were like, like beautiful this way, ladies and gentlemen. They really looked at him. And nowadays, women will look at John the Baptist like he was less valued. Right. Because he went well groomed. Right. Mm -hmm. They look at us like, but little do you know, and not to throw the spirit out, but spiritual side would make a, would make a man more precious than fine and gold. Right. You know, so you got to be careful where you put in your mouth. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. we, we are hated. We do get talked mm -hmm. about. We are looked at like, that's why the stranger is our salvation. Well, we're not going to be so out of this world because them the whole the whole time, that's what God about mm -hmm. you know, we're dealing with the whole time. Mm -hmm. The same person you went to the car, he got this McDonald's job. Right. Uh, he got a mechanic job. Right. But their beard don't connect. But their beard don't connect. But he too skinny, lanky. What right. the fuck? He no, Jake, Jake Carno, man. Right. You know, he got multiple women. Right. That's the thing, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hate the white man. Right, right. He's racist. Right. Because at the end of the day, um, like you were speaking about with the dudes in the church, they got all the money, but. Uh, think about think about that judgment that happened to that pastor not too long ago, not too long ago. Pulled a gun out on around, him. And they ran in there. They robbed him. They robbed him, man. You know, so so that so how's he? Hey, if he was a right. man of the Lord, right? That, that wasn't supposed to have happened to him like that. Right, but the thing is so crazy. J Jacob won't believe you because you don't believe in marriage of this world. He can't believe in the Lord if he don't want to get married. Right. The act of the sex. act of sex consummates the marriage, because before you actually lay down with that woman, you have to have an agreement with the father, pay the shekels. A a July um Jake um Jacob did our forefather. He went and worked on Laban twenty one years, seven years for Leah, seven years for Rachel, seven years for the sheep. So we had customs, the betrothal period, when the father promised to that man that he was going to give his daughter. Right, so she had to be a virgin. That's where the token of the virginity go, go into, man. So people really err not knowing the scriptures. Oh, yeah, because in this world, you can't. It's a 
lot. Oh, you got it, bro. In this world, you can you can marry, divorce, right? Marry, and, and, divorce. That shit going on. Yeah, people. It'd be the pastor <laughs> and the mother of the church. They done, they done married, and divorced three, four times. And the scriptures say it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, you when they see a young couple in there, you know, uh, 17, mm -hmm. 18, and they got a child again. Oh, that. Out of wedlock. Don't even know wedlock. <laughs> Jake be tripping. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. And and with um um Isaac and Rebecca. He said he went into his mother's tent. Ain't that shacking up? Wouldn't wouldn't the Lord be upset with Isaac if he did that? Right. They still got the mindset of this world. That's why you gotta throw away all that shit you learned. Right. Divorce her husband. Supposed to stay alone. Until that man die. Right. Right. And and to be honest, scripture say what the most high put together, don't let the man put a son on. So really once you marry, you was meant from the beginning to stay together. Cause once you divorce that woman, what you gonna go do? Commit adultery. That bring forth disease, plagues. That's why in the kingdom we ain't gonna be divorcing our wife. We're gonna be with them forever. <laughs> it makes sense. It's the scriptures. Even Yahweh Shah, when they asked, he said, when they asked about the woman, she had one husband, he died, and had the husband, he died. They were trying to, he was like, those that be, in, they don't, they're like the angels, they don't have sex because in the spiritual realm, you don't. You're in, the, you're in the celestial body. But he was like, hey, the most side didn't create the voice, but Moses gave you that lie because of the hardness of your hearts. Cause Jake could get upset and just throw that woman away. I'm, I'm done with it, bitch. I don't want no more. Or they're deceiving woman. That's why the law about the token of virginity. Cause a lot of them will lay down with the woman. And they'll say, oh, she was already taken advantage of. So I don't want her. Not knowing they were trying to deceive that woman. Cause they ain't really want to deal. They just want to pop them. And that's a wicked thing. That's why righteousness got to be established in the earth, man. We got it. It said, this is wisdom of Solomon 5. And uh, finishing off. In verse 5, I think verse 7. Mm -hmm. well, in verse 5, it says, How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh, and his lot is among the saints? You know, we're going to that land where the saints are. The saints are a Israel, man. The Israelite. But inside of Israel, you got the Israel of the most high, which is the elite. Mm -hmm. exactly. It says, 144,000. One third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers that's allotted to be saved. That's going to come out of the ways of Babylon, man. Huh? It says, verse 6, Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness hath not shined unto us. Right, we erred from the way of truth. That's why we, that's why the scriptures say, uh, knowing it was your mind to go astray, seek him on what, ten times more? Mm -hmm. No, we can speak the ones that err. Played the harlot. We played the harlot. Ten times more, man. Hoping that he um deliver us, bro. Hoping that he be with us. It says, and the son of righteousness have not rolled, have not, and the son of righteousness rolls not upon us. Right, they ain't received the Holy Spirit. That's the only way you really start changing. What would thou shall a young man clears his way by taking heed unto thy word? So once the Holy Spirit come upon you and you change the way you think, then you change the way how you eat, you uh, live. Because why you know the way of righteousness and you believe on it. See, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're going to, hey, what the um, scripture say, I, I was like a beast before thee. That's what we breathed upon a, a man became a living soul. It's really the Holy Spirit which quickens a man. You got it though, bro. That's it, Kayan. <laughs> Things that plead to the most high. Not possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And we know that because guess what? Before the Holy Spirit was on us, we was in the world doing what Titus they were three. doing whatever was in the big trees in the You know? Then you start considering your way. Oh, I don't need to do that shit. I know the Lord don't like that. That's the beginning of knowledge. Said they were they were wrestling in the womb. These two um two different man of people, two different races. Mm -hmm. Why why would he help you? He wouldn't get laws for that. They're protected by the police to be able to flunk up and down the streets. Mm -hmm. Right. To protect the momos. Yes. But but created more laws that's in that's in the Bible in his own constitution. Right. No longer close or affectionate to someone alienated. The true stranger. Time. Heathen. Yeah. He's a bastard. Shashua. Look what's going on. <laughs> hey, so so is the ruler. Right. So is the people. Hey. And that's why. This is why we can make mm -hmm. This is the most I gave us. Mm -hmm. That's that's good. And that's see you can't be because that's what you can't be proud. Because look at what the Lord can do to you. Mm -hmm. Look at what he did to you. That's a race of people. Mm -hmm. Young people are true. Like, wasted away is he, I shot you. Esau, he's wasted away. Red, Ida Wong, he's red. Right. And guess what? He want that prayer. That's why fear in the Lord is very important. The Lord, Lord, give your ass over to some shit. Mm -hmm. Lord, have you over there like this. You know? Oh, give you over to Esau. Give you over to Esau, but pride that got so. Pride is something Yahweh Shalom Shah hates so much. Jake done 
you know, join hand in hand with Esau. Now they done came out with a doggone. Uh, 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 no, I'm saying they came out with a thing called Pride Day, Pride Month. Pride Week. Pride Week or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's. How, how can you not see the confusion? Right. Mm-hmm. Y'all come through. Y'all fine. We ain't blocking. Y'all good. It's positive. Y'all have a great one. Sneaky leaking. <laughs> that what that going into. And, and, and guess what? Sneaky leaking. Just being, being caught up in wickedness. Adultery. You know? I don't talk about abominable shit, bro. I got no spears. Say, 
And know if not the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, <clears throat> letting you know that guess what? The Most High has the Allahites, the angels, the powers, the judges. That's why when you see chariots, so-called UFOs, going into unidentified flying objects, no, they're identifiable. Those are the vehicles of, 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 of the heavens. Of, of, of heavens. Because guess what? Another thing I want to say, when you see them angels in them chariots, they, they scope in the land. It's going to be judged. And when angels were on the scene of Sodom and Gomorrah, they tried to sodomize the angels, they were scoped. Because what came to Sodom and Gomorrah in the late of the city? Mm -hmm. Judgment, fire and brimstone. Right. The eyes it's, of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom. Yep. I'm going to finish it off. It says, uh, it says, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Behold, in all the ways of men, meaning man, woman, and child. And it says, and considering the most secret parts, letting you know there's nothing here, eh? there's nothing you're doing that's that's not known to the how by Shema shot. So it, it, it'll, it'll behoove you to just come clean. Mm -hmm. And you repent to get your sins blotted out. You know, if you so called real, you know that what Jake like to say, I'm real, I'm real. That ain't real. Participating in this type of shit, this behavior, and loving it, you don't love that, bro. He's supposed to hate that shit, right? I had a, I had a, yeah, I got a precept at the brothers. So many examples of men that's getting taken by these seducing spirits, these false philosophies, man. These different uh, uh, wines, different doctrines that don't even ain't even coming out of the scriptures, bro. Dumb shit, flat earth. Black folks just got dumb, just stupid ass shit. Niggas is really getting taken by. They great doctrine. Shit, man. 
Lord command you to stop. You, you, um, women of Zion, we, we are holy people, man. Stop eating pork, short crab, lobster. Stop, stop. Hey, follow the ways of the heathen. Stop worshiping idols and false gods, man. Our Father commands us to stop doing that. Stop backsliding, man. Yahweh Shimon Shah commands us to stop doing that. And if you keep doing it, and hey, he's going to put you to death and bring you back through the ones that he left. Because that's going to be the only way that you'll be able to uh, come back in the, in the right mind. You got it, bro. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord. We're in the north, man. We've we been, we're we over here in the north. Yeah. That's how we know this is all prophecy, yeah. man. Right. Hey, this is the spirit, bro. A hey, prophecy is, is being fulfilled right now. This is spiritual, man. The Lord has raised up his prophets, and we out here warning Israel to turn from their wicked ways, man. It ain't going to be like this forever. You got it, bro. It says, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. Mm. Hey, uh, you, you made me think about that Ezekiel chapter 3 and 17. Change behavior is the best apology. You know, but that's because King David understood because he never lost the fear. You know, they don't change. That's why I say repent and be converted. Change. <laughs> what the dude said, what the brother brought out about the pork, the swine, 
To add on to that point, how he said, on thy power, you know it, because the only God, only nation that he revealed his name to was Israel. Moses. Psalms 22 and 4. Yeah. Psalms 22 and 4. Yeah. 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 Y
He did it for it. That's why, that's why Jake got hit committing all manner of sin because they caught up in Murph. Nigga preaching about marriage more than about the prophecy of the end time. Jeremiah was that weeping prophet. Hey, I'm a real brother's guy. They said, we shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And if you think about that, this, this Bible is built up with a lot of woes. Why did Ezra mm -hmm. say woe? Uh, woe is me. Woe is me. Right. Woe is me. Right. Woe is me. 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 Woe they ain't preaching this. These other people ain't preaching that, man. Right. You don't know. He may be at work, man. I don't have a break loose. Mm -hmm. You going to keep that fear there? Hey, hey, look at that old movie. Uh, no, not the last one. Did we work on that? 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 Vacation. Yeah, yeah. And that security, that should be destroyed. Yeah. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they know that area. And break it out wrong as hell. Hey man, the scriptures say that prophet that prophesied that sword and famine shall not be in this land. By that same sword and famine shall that prophet be consumed. You know? That's yeah. What's it's a judgment for being a false prophet. Deut Deuteronomy 13. Matter of fact, yeah. In your house. It's built up for Jacob trouble. Because mm -hmm. the scripture do say a time like never before. Mm -hmm. This ain't nothing to see. You can't play with them type. That's mm -hmm. a prophecy. That's got to happen. And look at the first flag. They play. 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 Hey, us brothers, the brothers who are the fruit of the earth. Right. It's the spirit. You don't get it right. You don't be in the world. Like the beautiful point that brother said earlier, you got to have that Holy Spirit upon you. Because even when we first heard the truth and you heard that scripture, time like never before, that shit was like, oh shit. Oh, damn, the Lord. Oh, how about shit? Oh, no, we ain't supposed to be. But see, Jacob here. Daniel 12, a time like never before, without the Holy Spirit, it just be like, oh, we ain't a time like never before. They been you know? saying that. They been saying that. So, hey, that's why it is, as scriptures say, a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. And the scriptures also say, 
knowing the terror, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade man and trust are made manifest in your conscience. You know, because hey, knowing this terror through the scriptures, like the brother just said, to the things we the read in different accounts, of how the Lord get down, and we try to persuade Jake, like, hey man, you might want to stop doing that. You know, the Lord don't, hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord, will fuck you up for that. And, you, and we trust that that meant register in your conscience, but only the elect don't get it, man. The brothers got it. This that on um, Deuteronomy 13 and 1 It said there will rise among you a prophet Or a dreamer of dreams And give thee a sign or a wonder The sign of wonder come to pass Where he spake unto thee Saying let us go after other gods Because that's what these false prophets are doing Which thou hast not known And let us serve them Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet Or that dream of dreams For the Lord your power proveth you Right, so the Lord set up false prophets to prove you, to test you, to see if you're going to listen to his words or not. That's part of that stumbling block that the apostles are always going to. To know whether you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, ye shall walk after the Lord your power and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice, and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. And that prophet or that dream of dreams shall be put to death. Because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord, your power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to thrust you out of the way which the Lord, thy power, commanded thee to walk in. So shall I put evil away from the midst of thee. that's up here suffering and we just got to keep suffering man and going through whatever we're going through suffering for righteousness right and the scripture say uh suffer not as the evil doing mm -hmm. right right you know follow not the multitude to do you that's right and that's what we we all suffer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jake goes speed again. Yeah, Jake goes do it again. Yeah, that's for sure. Murder somebody might not get caught. You know, idols. Yeah, keep worshiping idols. This could not happen right then and there. Right. Well, side gonna bring that judgment eventually. You can't forget about what Deuteronomy thirty-two and thirty-nine. At the end of that verse, he said, "And none can deliver out of my hand." He would not at all let me go. In the cold. Yep, in the cold. A good way. And something bit him. Something um, tried to um, get him. You know? Hey, so hey, nothing can't deliver you out of the Lord's hands. 
if it ain't, if it's his will, man. Right. That's why we got to stay strong in y'all about to not You got to go. How you doing? Doing all right. How are you? Doing all right. Twelve. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high. Right. And that's speaking about us. That's coming out here, standing bold, and living these scriptures to the best of our abilities, man. Really living the words, man. To the best. Trying to do what's pleasing unto the Lord instead of being a hypocrite, which right. the majority of the people in the world. They hypocrites, man. Mm -hmm. Scripture say, be ye doers of the word and not hearers own. And we doing what the Lord commanded us to do and have the hopes of being saved by all hell breakers, man. Because it's going to be terrifying and people going to wish that they came back to the Lord and did as commanded, but it's going to be too late, man. You got it, bro. Which fear before him, 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked. But it shall not be well with the wicked, man. So don't worry about what, what the majority of people are doing, man. Right. Whether they being homosexual, sodomites, uh, stick up kids, uh, worshiping idols, you know, a, a doing whatever, man. Mm -hmm. That ain't our concern, man. Our concern is to come out here and to get the blood off our hands and warn Israel right. and to turn back to the Lord. And if you don't, you're going to fill it around to the Lord and during the time of Jacob's trouble. Right. When that RFID microchip. The mark of the beast become mandatory under the penalties of death. Mm -hmm. You gonna take it? Why? Because you didn't come back to the Lord and do as commanded, man. We can't worry about the master for the people, man. We only out here for the elect, mm -hmm. the 144,000, the one third that consists of women, children, and multiple believers that's allowed to come back and be saved, and that's gonna be sincere. You got it, bro. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow. Right, because we understand that this place is about to be destroyed. You can grab that and uh, uh, grab that real quick on uh, that. Uh, the world passes away and bust their up. This place ain't going to go up that. It's always been a, a, every time it was a wicked kingdom, what the Lord did. He sent his prophets out and prophesied against the place and he brought judgment upon it, man. And it's all types of matter of wickedness going on in the world, man. Homosexuality, uh, pedophilia. Um, idol worship, all types of matters of hey, things that hey, we, we, we don't even see it, bro. That the Lord see that He pissed off, man. Right. Like you was going into earlier, the scripture say the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Right. We can't get nothing past, nobody ain't getting nothing past the Lord, man. Whether you're doing it in secret, whether you're doing it in the opening, the Lord's seeing it, and you got to give an account on that thing. Right. That's why we just got to keep being sincere and doing what the Lord commands us to do. It's going to go well with us, man. No matter how bad it looks, no matter how weird it may seem, no matter how ugly it may get, man, you might lose it all. <laughs> we, we being prepared to lose it all. We might lose our children. We might lose our women. We might lose our life, man. But the Lord said we trust in him. He going to protect us. He going to be with us, man. That's all we got to do, bro. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord and live right. our lives to the best of our abilities because we understand what's coming, man. That was it on that? Uh, God, you bring it up. Yeah. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before the Most High. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, so it's, it's best for us to come back to the Lord and fear him and do as commanded to the best. We'll be good, man. That's all the Lord asking us to do. He say um, his commandments are not grievous. So he ain't telling us to do something that's, that's too hard. Mm -hmm. Telling us to do simple things. Come out of the ways of the world. Trust in the Lord. Stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. They're abominable things. They were right. created to be consumed. Right. A woman was created hey, to only have sex with one man. Mm -hmm. You women out there sleeping with multiple men, stop doing that shit, man. Come back to the Lord and do as commanded to the best of your abilities. Close your legs, man. You men stop committing adultery with other men's women. You know that woman says she got a man, and you're going to be like, shit, mm -hmm. I don't care, shoot. Hey, hey, hey. Still want it. Still want it, man. That's why the most I give people over to AIDS, yep. herpes, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, man. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that when the disease comes into play, it's a, it was some adultery. Right. Mm -hmm. Hey, just like with the homosexual thing, because in Romans 1 it tells you about, okay, this was that, 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 that
<laughs> more than a creator. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for, for years. I think I, I forgot how long, but it's a long time that that sperm stand a woman. That's why mm -hmm. she got so many different spirits on. Let you know she was mm -hmm. Hey, Genesis 3 16. Your desire should be towards your husband. And he should, he rule, should over rule over you. Rule over you. The thing is, she want to rule over him. Right. Right. Like with that woman, the woman basically takes on the, the um, spirit of the man. The spirit of the man. Right. right. So when you going to lay down with multiple men, you took the spirit of the Holy God This is First John chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. And that's why the Lord is um, commanding us to come out of the ways of the world, man. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, apart from this place, man. Turn from your wicked ways, which you were just going into, man, before the coming of Yahweh Shai. Before the coming of the Lord, man, which he walked this earth over 2,000 years ago. And we seeing these prophecies come to pass right before our eyes to let us know that the Lord is close, man. And it's going to be terrifying when he makes it to turn back in, man. It ain't going to be an easy thing. Brother, hold on deck that Isaiah chapter 13, starting at 5. Mm -hmm. This is 1 John 2 and 15 again. Mm -hmm. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right. They, they come out of the ways of this world, man. The customs. Like we were just uh, born into. Yeah, mm -hmm. the customs. Mm -hmm. Eating abominable food, Witch, shrimp, witchcraft, crab, lobster, yeah, witchcraft. People going to get um readings and shit like that, man. Right. Yeah, dope, dope boys. Mm -hmm. Selling drugs and shit like that, man. That's witchcraft. Right. Yeah. That is witchcraft. You get a sorcerer, you get a sorcerer, warlock, and a witch. Right. Scripture says mm -hmm. something out of witch to live. Right. And mm -hmm. if you're doing those things, guess what? And if the shoe fit, you hope it fit. Repent and be converted. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, sincerely this, this, change. This word should condemn you right. and to, to, to yeah. change it. Right. Pro yeah. Provoke you to love. Right. Right. I, I got a quick Which love is commit keeping the commandments. You got it. This is Romans 12 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. It says, And be not conformed to this world, right. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And that's how you're supposed to be when you hear this truth, man. You're supposed to hear this word, mm -hmm. and you're supposed to take it serious, man. This ain't right. a thing to take lightly. Right. Especially for the, for, hey, if the Most High allowed you to especially come into this thing, mm -hmm. or to hear it and take heed to it. Right. Because it said, uh, he that knew the word mm -hmm. and prepared not shall be beaten with, with many him. stripes. Yep. So the one that, that heard the word, right. maybe came into it, right. which everybody going to hear because it say this word shall go throughout the whole four corners of the earth. Mm -hmm. This shall the income. Right. If you hear this word and come into the truth and do not, right. hey, you going to get it. Right? Say, Even worse than somebody that, that didn't come into it. Right. That Once in life. And start mm -hmm. their hand at it mm -hmm. or whatever the case might be, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody going to have to give an account. Right. When the Lord come back, whether it was a good judgment or a mm. bad judgment, right. the Lord got some terrifying judgments mm. that he about to bring to this place, such as cannibalism. Mm -hmm. People about to eat each other. It's about to be a lack of food, a lack of water. Mm -hmm. And if you ain't got the, it ain't no bomb bunker, ain't nothing going to be able to save you, man. Right. If you ain't got the hands and the protection of the Lord around you, right. you're going to be, it's going to be a wrap, man. That's right. You might eat your, your, your kids. You're going to eat your kids, man. Mm -hmm. It happened during the siege of Jerusalem. 70 AD. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. What happened in the past, that happened in the future, man. Mm -hmm. And the scriptures say this is the place of judgment, man. But judgment go down on that. I'm going to say you got to think about it. You got to say, be not conformed to this world. Mm -hmm. You got to look at that. You got to break that down. And you think about it simply. Why would the Lord tell you not to be conformed to this world? Right. Right. See, if the Lord is supposed to love this world, if, if right. it's in God we trust, why would the Lord say in the mm -hmm. Bible not to be conformed to this world? But why? Because the scripture say that they, um, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost because they're right. out of this world. That's blind, blind because though. God right. 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 See? What the scripture said, the prince that come to this world, not of me. That's right. When you conform to something, you're adapting to it. Exactly. We're not supposed to adapt to this world. Right. Right. Just take right. a look at society and look at the stuff that is legalized. Right. You know. It's not according to the it's scriptures. Not to what the right. It's, we're in the world. We're not of the world. Exactly. That's how we know that Jesus, that's a false God. That's a, uh, people in the church and all that stuff like that, they say that you can, you can come and be in the church and you a homosexual. Come as thou art. Yeah. Lord ain't with that shit, man. If 
Mm -hmm. Which most likely a sodomite ain't gonna change to being a, a homosexual or a homosexual man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which most likely a sodomite ain't gonna change to being a, a homosexual. They, hey, hey, you gonna be put to death, man. Which the Lord is gonna hey, cause your, 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 um, he's gonna cause some way for you to die. If you don't repent, man. Hey, for us too. That's, that's why we out here in fear, man. And hopes of being delivered, man. Right. You got it, bro. Yeah, I just wanna add too before I um, finish reading. Even Yahweh Shah said he is not of this world. Mm -hmm. That's why they understand. He said, I am from above, you are from, from beneath. Above. Yep. Just to break down what the description was saying, be like before, because right. we're coming under the same vibration of our Lord, Savior, Yahweh Shah. We're not going to be as perfect as Yahweh Shah, but in doctrine, we're right. perfect. And we're going to be sincere. You're going to be sincere. Your intentions are so going to be pure. Our intentions are going to scribe us to come into mm -hmm. the mannerism like, or I can't be, I got to have a ton of vision. Mm -hmm. right? I can't be easy. Distracted and caught up in right. not being a, 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 a damn gift. Right. But I'm gonna jump back to first John two. Yeah. Could be. Could, could be Israelite like four. They're gonna come looking like that. Right, this ain't no militant, man. All throughout Europe, all throughout Russia. By the spirit. Definitely. Absolutely. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Even Diana Ross. But see that tracker in the world, I was just like, Right, right. Not what now ain't what her what her daughter is. Who Diana Ross? What Diana Ross daughter when we playing out of movies. She was in that show friend. Cause Diana Ross husband was Edomite. Her, so their tr her children were Edomites. Mm -hmm. You got it, though, boo. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, this is First John two. Eight. And, um, eight minutes. Now eight minutes. First John two, finishing fifteen. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. right. And that's why we gotta not be conformed to this world because the Lord about to bring judgment to this place. That great judgment. It's gonna be terrifying, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we hey, that's why we do the things that we do with commanded of us. Right. That right. have the hopes of being delivered. You got it, bro. Right. Verse 16. And, and also, if you love this world, you ain't gonna do the thing that pleases them to the Lord. Because right. you're gonna try to please the world. Yeah. You got it though, bro. Yeah, that's important, world, man. man. That's mm -hmm. important. That's why a lot of men they to say the gospel, they choke at the word mm -hmm. uh, for the cares of this. Cares of life, you'll follow them on thorns. Says, yep. And deceitfulness of riches. That's why Jacob's trouble is mm -hmm. gonna be a big ass tension. Cause you gonna have to detach. Mm -hmm. Confusion. This shit is mad. Confusion. Like I ain't even gonna lie, if I just say, I wouldn't even wanna go walk to a snow line. Like if I had to go use the restroom and throw up the shit is on the food. This is the food. Right. And they look at you as you strange for not wanting to be a part of that. They say that's toxic masculinity. They said, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> they do they say that shit. Uh, yeah, they said, yeah. You, they make it way you can't reject them or something. Right. You can't Normalize it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, 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 right. And it's women, it's women out here. They're saying now if a man wants more than one woman, it's because a woman can't satisfy him and he's secretly gay. I've heard. That's a new doctrine. No, that's some shit. That's some shit now, though. It's a new doctrine out here, man. Guess what? It's an attack on manhood. I got, I got family members that think like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Women, Jake, what's the Jake woman think like that? They, 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 they already given over to Satan. Like you just said, no fucking world. Mm -hmm. Unless you know with that bitch, I'm going to wrap this up. The description is going to tell us why we got to be in this world. They want us to conform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm
<laughs> they trying to break us through the spirit. Be not. The Lord don't come back now. No flesh be saved. You'll break. Because the whole world going to be against you. Yeah, but they so spiritual. We need help. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's, that's why we're out here hoping you. How about Chanel Shot is pleased with our sacrifice? Yep. Sign and cry. Mm -hmm. On our day to day walks at work, let me work around these fucking flip flops and shit, man. You see what I'm saying? Got them in your family. You see them out to eat. I and you gotta apply wisdom. I said, and, you gotta apply wisdom. <laughs> and it be you want to you want to say something, but it, it ain't wise to do that. Yep, hate crime. Right, right, right. Yeah. And especially you get a fight with one on, they gonna say you did it out of hate. Yep. Yep. Find that wisdom. Hey, taking the loan. Put them curses yeah. up. Put them right. Put them curses up. That's our power. Mm -hmm. they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't gotta hear you say it, but then you're hitting them. Right. You know, they're going in right yep. there. Mm -hmm. Them prayers, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap this up. This first John 2 and 16. Cause man, the, the Bible says, bro, that, that shit is real. Mm -hmm. Brothers, you gotta really apply. You know, and I'm speaking myself first and mm -hmm. foremost. A lot of these scriptures, bro, and be patient in different situations. Right. Because the Lord is going to put us in some weird situations that's really going to try our patience. Mm -hmm. either, either with your woman, mm -hmm. either with, with brothers get pissed off with they You ready to bring their fucking neck? Yes, sir. But we got to control ourselves. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, that could be a detriment. Yeah, it could. Mm -hmm. You can get locked up anything, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. A family jump on you anything. Mm -hmm. You be put to death. Yeah, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now you get looked at. Yep. And they hate women. It's a snap. It's just being truthful. Real shit. Yeah. Like you better yeah. knock Eve out. Boom. You already a man. Mm -hmm. We're not created the same. Right. But the thing is, the right. tie in with the head of our account saying, the wisdom because right. we can't be wooed off emotion. Of right, we gotta be logical. She got you in a woman's spirit now. Right. It's beautiful to be in this truth because the Lord put it in our spirit to uh, be patient. To, right. To uh, get, get out of that shit or whatever. Right. Hey, so, <laughs> so we get, stay, and then we praise the Lord. So like, bro. Nah, bro, it, it just hit my mind. What does the scripture say in Proverbs? It's better to dwell in the wilderness than with a uh, cruel and brawling woman, a contentious woman. Contentious woman. Yeah. That's a woman who like to argue and, and fuss and fight. You gotta leave, bro. Right. It's, it's a better to dwell in the wilderness. It was to be around a dragon That's than to be around a contentious woman. Yeah. You go. And who wrote that book? Yeah. Solomon. Exactly. And we know who that was. We know who that was, bro. So we gotta apply these things. That's what it's about. Hey, if she go down the way that's pleasing unto you, cut off. And that was what I want to say too. And if I can say about the push out with these women, that was us. <laughs> oh, now you hitting the nail on the head now. Nah. Yeah. Right, gotta just trust in the Lord. Right, could that would go down to? Because it's been a show anyway. Right, you know. Now later. I'm gonna show who the Lord dealing with. Right. Yep. Was he, was he dealing with me? Or was he dealing with her? Yeah. yeah. This is um, so <laughs> right. This is the most hot to see. You. Absolutely. The Lord is tricky, man. He said he rewarded what that scripture proper. I know you tell me. The, the good and the, the um the righteous and the wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's balance. Cause they got they they got their time too. <laughs> That's why they time now. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But just two, three weeks ago, you was being a fucking demon to a man, a sincere man that's serving y'all about seeing y'all shopping. And they see. They see. Built back up. Yeah, they're going, they're work mm -hmm. It says in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. That's, that's us, brothers. So we can't look down and put ourselves, bro. Mm -hmm. And we know what we're doing. We got proof. Right. We do this and, and we, we, we go on a certain one. We can we come throughout the week. We fight. Mm -hmm. We trying to do what was pleasing unto the Lord. We trying to pray. We trying to fast. We trying to keep the law statutes and commandments to the best of our abilities. And the Lord uh, put it in our spirit to do that. So brothers, don't doubt yourself, man, because the Lord is with us because we do what he commands us to do. And we want to keep it this way, man. We want to stay in this zone. The scripture says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run into it and it's safe. We want to stay in our safe haven with the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, bro. So I'd rather keep fighting and don't let a lot of shit get to you, mm -hmm. which it comes with, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can't let a lot of this shit get to us, bro. Because we spiritual men at the end of the day, and we read these accounts, and we know what the scriptures command us to do. Mm -hmm. Keep it closed up, my man. This is Exodus 23 and verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. And that's why we come out of the way to this world. Part. Right. Right. This is not our rest. What? The world is evil. Right. And scripture said, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them because that should have rubbed off on you. Because right. scripture said, we rest not against flesh and blood. It's spiritual. And what Jake Phil realized, this is a spiritual world. Mm hmm. Right? Mm hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? 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 We need the Lord. Fuck yeah. <laughs> neither, neither shall thou speak in cause. To decline after many to rest judgment. Mm -hmm. We just pray a hope the Lord bring a speedy destruction to the shop. Mm -hmm. This place is wicked as hell, man. We hate this place. Mm -hmm. We deal with it, we endure because that's what he was commanded. Brothers, and keep enduring and keep fighting and keep being humble, man. We in the we in the uh, time, we in the uh, test of patience. We in the test of patience. Lord saying is we're gonna endure and be patient and wait upon him. So we gotta keep being patient and waiting upon the Lord and doing the things commanded of us to the best of our abilities. You know, with that, Lord willing, this is edifying, we gotta close out. With that, we wanna give all praises on his glory. And how will Bar Shim Yahweh Shah Bar Shim and Kakodash? Giving them the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS and teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful for elect Aki and out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Call me out, Shalom. Call me out, Shalom.